Okay, so now that we have our uh, structures set up in the previous video, if you do not have it, it is going to be linked down in the description and it's going to pop up somewhere up there. You can watch the video on setting up the structures, the, the structure which is the pillars. Yeah, so you can check the video out and understand it. We have to, we are going to just add it to the details video we created earlier. So that one is also going to be linked if you have not watched it. So you watch both of them to understand the whole thing. The detailing of the views we have here, the ridge detail, the beam, lentil and eave detail, and then we have the foundation footing detail. So well, we, one, now that we have these, we are going to add these to it and then, you know, arrange them properly. You don't want them all over the place like this. So we are going to create um, a grid layout. So, so we are going to just, um, we are going to first create a line. The grid, the grid layout, if you, you use the default one, is going to come in small. But instead, we want to use our own um, figures to make it a bit wider or bigger. Yeah, so that we can get more space to put in some details and everything. That's the dimensions and stuff and text and notes. So we are going to create a, a custom one. So we select the line to we turn on the auto mode for straight 90 degree lines. And then first off, we want to create um and we want each box to be like 17 by 16 feet. And then we are going to create the uh, the lines to be like um, the the vertical ones to be um, 32 and the horizontal is going to be 51. So we are going to create our vertical line first, which is going to be 32 feet Just enter. and then the horizontal is going to be uh, 51 51 feet Press enter. then we just close them off you can just type 32 feet again and then we close it press escape now we have this done so we are going to you know just copy this and then offset it. So here was 32. So you're going to offset it to the center, which is going to be which is going to be uh 16. So we are going to type in 16 for the offset. Press enter. Sorry, sorry. We're going to escape. Select our line. We are going to offset it. Um, offset it to the center of the 32, which is going to be 16. So 16 feet for the offset center is going to find itself in the center here and then we want to you know offset this line this particular line 17 so with intervals of 17 so we select offset 17 feet the center then we select your line then you offset select the line again you offset and then we have our lines made here so what we can do is we can join them, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just create the grids and then delete this off. We are going to delete the line work. So we are going to go to um two palette and then go to design. Two palette design. We have column grid here. That's the column grid. You want to click on it. And then this pops up. So as you can see from these boxes, they are small to contain. Our, uh, our projects that it may look big here but when we draw them when you are, when you draw them it's going to be smaller so i'm going to use the line the line work i created therefore i'm going to say right click on the column grids go to apply two properties to line work so just like the just like how we created our grid lines that's the same procedure. And if you are watching this video and did not watch the video on making the grid lines and everything, you can go back and watch it and then understand the whole thing. It's a whole process. We started from um, grid lines, the, um, ground floor, and then um, foundation, ground floor, and everything. So you can watch it, understand how the whole thing goes about. Yeah. So the links are going to be down in the description. I want to, I say, select. Um, so I have to select my line work. That's my line work. Press enter. And then I don't want no labels. The labels are going to be the bubbles if you were creating um, grids. 
so no labels and then we want to delete the line work so yes and then we wait so that's it our line work has been created for us beautifully easy just like that it's that simple yeah so i don't know i don't know how how easy it could have been again so after doing this you want to move this into their respective uh, columns so you select move you want to move this turn auto mode off i want to move this down here and then give it a bit of space so i can add in information at this side of the then of the so i want to select that one too and then move it I'm going to move it out here click and then we select this one similarly we move it to where you want it click so you can you can create more more um more grids you can just you can create more but that's not what i mean. i want i know what i'm doing so <laughs> yeah so i know that okay i'm going to need three or four however so here i'm going to move it from the points then move this in this is going to be too small but what can we do i don't want the the dimensions to to differ if i should scale it up the dimensions are going to change and then it's going to be a whole something on its own so i'm just going to you know maintain these and then you select that let's move it so move to the press escape and then we have them created so what we want to do now is we want to if we should click on this this is the boundary that's not the boundary we want select this this is the boundary i want the boundary to be in line with the the box and um, the grid line we created these grids are not going to print actually so we are not going to see the grids in the details if we are printing or when we are printing we are not going to see them so we want to you know just make sure that everything is intact and how you want it so i'm going to go to the views and then come to name and under the view tab you come to name and then you're going to have your view manager here click on the view manager and then if we are to come here we have um the the various views in this particular model and then we have the beam which is um this one so that's the 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 what the annotation uh, the skill we used so you can't change the skill but you can change the name here and then a few things what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit the boundary and then i'm going to click here and then close it then press enter so that's basically what i want to do so after doing that you want to apply press enter so press enter and then you apply to it and then you go to foundation 14 and then you want to draw the box again over where you want it to be me i want it to fit the particular space there so that's it then you go to reach detail see edit boundary we edit the boundary to what we want click press enter it is done so apply you see okay so we have created them so if you actually click this that's the boundary if you click this the boundary fits and everything so it's okay now for these we want to create new views for them because they have they are not actually views that we have i just copied them and brought them in so we want to create views for them so you come here you see new view under the name you see new view so select new view you're going to have a dialog box you want to change the name to what 
what is in or whatever name you want to use it. I'm going to name this L pillar. So L pillar. But first, let me set the scale. So I don't want it to. Okay, the scale is okay. So new view. You change the name to L pillar. L pillar, then we say define window. So we are going to now set our uh, the boundary. So define window. That's the window we want to use. Press enter. And then let's change the visual none. So okay. And then it has been created. And then we create another one for the T pillar. Wait, sorry. Yes, yeah, so T. So T pillar. You select that one. We want to go to define window. We want to define the window also. So we click and then we close. Press enter. We change the visual style to none also. You see, okay. And then we are left with the eye. So you go there, new view, eye pillar. Eye pillar, you want to define boundary. You want to click here, close it out there, press enter, visual style, none. Okay, so they have been created. Now we can add titles. That's the title for this particular one. And because the question mark here is basically the, the page number. So when we when we create our pages and then we we are importing the views, the various sheets, the various sheets numbers, they are going to populate this. So for now it's going to be question mark. That's why it's question mark there. So now we want to create um, the titles for these three here. So we go to annotate. Here you have title here. So you want to drop down. You have title without bubble, which does not show the number. And then we have ones with the numbers. So I'm going to select the ones with the numbers. And then basically I want to create it here. So turn my auto mode on. Click here. Drag it out to the so we have the name and then the skill also. Similarly, you want to create it for this one also. So you want to click here, drag it out, click. The one is also set. And then lastly, lastly, you want to click here. Plus. So that's it. We have the titles and everything. So now we are in a grid and then it looks organized as compared to the beginning of the video. We want everything to be organized. Yeah. So with this, I would like to end today's video as well. I don't want it to be too lengthy since you guys do not, you know, you guys do not watch the videos that long. So I want to make it short for us to, you know, understand it so that we can continue so with this i will end today's video if you have not subscribed i forgot to say it in the beginning if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe ah. you just you are enjoying information the best you can do for me is subscribe to the channel let's grow the channel as well yeah so it's that easy you just hit the subscribe button you come and continue whatever you're watching then Let's continue. My name again is Idunum. That's all for today. So see you in the next video. Bye bye. Oh, don't forget to save. So we save. <laughs> yeah, we save it.